up guys this is morton power 35 here and today what i got for you guys is another um showcase of uh some of the melee weapons that i have um in preparation for the uh the new dlc that's going to be dropping um on uh tuesday i believe it is at uh probably about one i know they say they say blackjack's going to be uh launching at 1 p.m eastern time which will probably be 10 a.m pacific um if they don't just do it uh, universally all at 1 p.m. local time, wherever you're at. Which usually what they do is they drop it at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then they, which is 1 o'clock our time. Um, but yeah, what I want to do um, is uh, just show you guys these weapons. This is actually the first weapon that I've actually got on the uh, PlayStation, but I have it now on the Xbox 2. Um, it actually paired with the weapon that I showed you guys um, yesterday about the uh the the sword you know because it was i got it in the exact same supply drop which i got it in one supply drop um and i'll i'll show you guys that picture um you can see it right here uh i got the wrench and the uh the sword in one supply drop so so uh it is true you can get multiple in one supply drop um which i didn't believe but now i do and to be completely honest it feels so satisfying to be able to hit somebody upside the head with a wrench in this game. And this is something you normally wouldn't see in like a Call of Duty, like a shooter based game with a wrench, a sword, you know, uh, brass knuckles, a freaking axe for that matter. Um, but this is just a great way to, to bring difference to the game. Um, and you know, I hope they keep it up. I hope they do this kind of stuff. And, um, infinite warfare but um i mean you know they'll tone it down a little bit um because you know the hate on infinite warfare is is a little bit unnecessary and uncalled for i understand that um we're all wanting boots on the ground but what everybody has to realize is infinity ward started creating this game three years ago right after the time that they released Call of Duty Ghost, which was boots on the ground. It did have a space mission in the campaign, but it was boots on the ground. Everybody hated it. Everybody was wanting, you know, um, something different, um, something new. And then we get Advanced Warfare, and everybody hates it. You know, um, they just they despise it uh, with the with the out of this world boost jumping the exosuits and everything like that um but you know infinite warfare people they gotta give it a chance um and i'm not gonna make my full judgment on it until i play it although i am really upset that we're not getting um multiplayer gameplay at e3 um but i've been here we're getting some call of duty uh for cod 4 stuff um at e3 um, from what I'm hearing, Activision doesn't even have a booth this year at E3, which is which is really weird because usually they have one of the biggest booths um, at E3. But they'll be uh, doing a collab with the, uh, the PlayStation booth, which um, you know is uh, um, you know is the partner with uh, Call of Duty for the next few years. Um, but this video is going to be a little different than my own sword one. Not only am I going to be talking about um, the the wrench, but I'm going to be talking about um, just some news. Um, I want to say uh, I know this is this video is going to go up on a Monday, but I'm recording this on um, Saturday night um, just because of my upload schedule. Um, I just want to say rest in peace to um, this uh, YouTuber slash um, voice singer. That was uh that was tragically killed um Saturday it was either Friday evening or early Saturday morning um I can't really remember but um it's just it's it's terrible you know you see um all these you know all this evil in the world but I mean you know rest in peace uh, prayers go out to the family um just uh you know it's just a sad thing and. We're, um, you know, the Call of Duty community, 
uh, or the YouTube community, especially because she was a YouTuber before she went on NBC's The Voice. Um, but you know, this world is—we're living in a different age than we used to. We're seeing a lot more of this, this horrible evilness. Um, but let's get back to the gameplay. I don't like—I don't like dwelling on uh, negative stuff. So, uh, but yeah, Infinite Warfare is receiving a lot of unwarranted hate. Um, and it just needs to stop. Um, people, you know, they haven't, you know, really seen the game. And we're not going to see the game until September at COD XP. Um, which I was really hoping to go to. But, um, I believe tickets are sold out now. Which, which kind of sucks. But, um, I'll be watching live, um, through the various platforms that it'll be streamed on. Um, but if you get to go to, um... Cod XP, uh, tweet me pictures of, I'll leave a link to my Twitter in the description, um, you can see my Twitter name, um, in the, uh, ending outro annotations, um, Instagram me, uh, Snapchat, I'll leave, uh, my Snapchat in the description, um, but yeah, uh, I really would like to see, um, if you guys go, um, and if you get to meet any really cool YouTubers, um, let me know, and hopefully one day I can, um, get to where I can, you know, go to some of these events and meet you guys, um, in person, you guys that are, uh, subscribed to me, help support me, um, you know, hopefully we can grow this channel to where I can be able to go to things like E3 GamesCon, um, you know, TwitchCon when I start live streaming on Twitch, um, and things like that, um, but, what we'll, um, what we'll do is... I'm going to be starting a series next Saturday. I've actually recorded the very first episode of it. It's going to be um, SMD Sundays, um, which is Search and Destroy on Sundays. And uh, I'll be doing those um, weekly. Um, I found a way to where I can do um, longer videos on my Xbox. Um, and we'll be returning uh, the series where I do mini games like Hide and Seek, Michael Myers, Border Patrol, things like that. So if you're on the Xbox One and you want to play, drop your gamer tags in the uh, comment section. Also, in the comment section, um, what weapons do you have? Um, what melee weapons do you have? What range weapons do you have? Um, I'll be doing all of these um, weapons that I have, which I have like seven of them, which is pretty good. Um, never thought I'd really have them. I'm wanting to do another supply drop opening soon. Um, probably when the new weapons come out, I may do one on Tuesday for you guys have it up on Wednesday. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'll be doing, I'm going to start doing some live commentaries too. If you want to see me do some live commentaries, um, uh, leave a, leave a like in the, dis uh, or not a like in the description, um, comment the letter W in the description. I know that's a big trend on, um, on uh, YouTube here lately. Um, but yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Um, if you want to see more, uh, comment. If you have any ideas of things um, I should do on the series or on the channel, uh, leave a comment in the description because this, this channel is for you guys. Um, this is so that you guys can uh, see what you guys want out of this these games. I will be um, doing videos for Infinite Warfare. I will be doing COD 4 videos. Um, I'll be doing just about, um, just about any, like, Call of Duty game. I'm gonna try to get some older Call of Duties, um, when they become backwards compatible on the Xbox One, um, and hopefully, um, I can get a capture card, which I'm hoping to get here soon, so I can also jump back on the PS3 and Xbox 360. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, comment, um, subscribe if you're new. Um, also, um, click the link on the uh, annotation if you're on the PC to, um, to see some of my previous videos. Thank you guys for watching.